into a new week. A bit of medical stuff is going on this week, but also I'll be doing, uh, putting some finishing touches, hopefully, to my first book chapter. So uh, I'm quite excited about that. I was just wondering about whether to mark up a piece of paper by hand with my hideous scribble or to set about it with the keyboard again. Uh, because I use, I have an academic assistant, so I don't like to move things around too much because it can set us back with um, the work that we do. So uh, I'm just putting some thought into that because I've looked up where I need to put some references within my text and so forth so um that it will be nice to um get on with i've also got to put myself on the electoral roll uh it's something i keep forgetting to do for about a week and a half now uh write a few letters um get back to somebody about a digitally controlled cap lab um so i can let the mugs in and out because it's also their birthday week this week so they are going to be having tuna tuesdays more than once to celebrate their um now six years on the planet i can't believe they're so um can't believe they've grown up so much um, but also today we used my new um, shower sling which was interesting because it wasn't or it doesn't have to be an in situ one like the other one I have so um, we only found that this is the Actually, it's the second time I've actually used it. The first time, probably properly. I think we misunderstood the guide a bit. Uh, it doesn't overly matter, but it did make having a shower more... Uh, it felt sort of more normal. And it was nice not to have... Well, it was nice to get access to all the pots you wanted to wash very easily. So that quite made the beginning of my week. Um... So, um, I am going to get on with um, trying to sort out my laundry ready to put on the drying rack because I now have uh, one less care call in a day. So, um, I'm going to try and, try and do more of the activities myself, which is going to be interesting, but it's also nice to have more time uh, in between calls uh, because the lunch call tends to put people off visiting me so um, it will be nice to um, be able to see people more and um, be able to plan to do things for a longer span in the day hopefully. Uh, I'll see you guys later in the video. Yesterday I spent some time organising the area where the cats eat things uh, and I'm going to show you what it's like. It's um, it's sorry it's a floor arrangement for them and it's quite difficult for me or it takes hours for me to do it on my own because I have to pick each bit up with a grabbing stick. And the bottle, the water bottle thing in it, 
Okay, I have to wait until it's empty to disengage it. It does have a valve on it to stop it leaking any remaining water out, which is good. And I've got a tray there to keep everything on that sort of endeavours to keep the mess maintained. But, um, uh, so I have got the basic tray all cleaned up now. Um, and I need to try and find ways of making it easier because I've got to cope or try and cope with more on my own. So I've been looking for ways to possibly raise the setup a bit. One, because the cats themselves are getting older now. They're um, six today, actually, it's their birthday. Um, so research tells me that um, in later years of their lives, I mean, they're not particularly old for cats, but they are getting on. Um, they like to have their food slightly higher up in terms of their neck, so they don't have to bend down to eat so much. They find it more comfortable. And I think it will be easier for me to maintain if the tray itself was a few inches off the ground and it wouldn't stop uh, them digging into their food either. So I've been looking at options for enabling um, the tray to be able to be off the floor. And um, there are some plinth options um, available and also um, I'm thinking maybe of putting something with wheels on or like wheels on the plinth so I could move it around. Uh, and enable me to clean it successfully on my own. I have just been spending time binge watching Emily's Life on Wheels. I am probably about a month and a half behind on that or even more. Um, and I've missed it very much. Um, and I would recommend that any of you bob over and watch Emily. If you haven't, I uh, the link to Emily's vlogs are in my um, in the description under the um, channels I like section. So um, I would well recommend um, subscribing and watching Emily's daily vlogs. I think she does amazingly well to do a video every day because I've never got the energy half the time and um, I can never always think of something interesting to talk about. Now, I always find watching Emily very interesting indeed. So, um, I am about to set about reading a very large book about the origins of cerebral palsy it's so heavy i don't know how um well i think it's called the founders of yeah there we go the founders of childhood neurology um and i've got a blog piece to finish for my support session tomorrow I think I look very scraggy and shiny in this. But um, I'm just about to get going on that. And I will see you all in my next clip. I've got my little feline paperweight with me. I wonder, have you not been a paperweight now? You've got to help me stop you, you little boy. Yeah. Hide mummy's scruffy writing from the world. Right, we'll catch you tomorrow, I'm sure.
Hi. You just say goodbye to Scout, don't you? Yeah. You have a night free of the ginger dog. Yeah. You can lie on Mummy's leg. Yeah. Or wherever you want on the bed. You see where you pick. Mm -hmm. Mummy's leg's too hot. Bye, Mummy. Hello. This is, I'm six now, you know. I'm only six years old. I'll have to go for a vet check soon. Actually, Mr. Vet said you need your teeth checking.